So today we are making an all-purpose marinade. And what I have here on my wet surface are all the ingredients. Considering the type of videos I create for you, I think that um, it's high time I introduce you to my classic basic type of um, green marinade. In fact, my favorite um, ingredient. Feel free to use um, any ingredient of your choice. Without wasting much of your time, I'm going to introduce it Once to you. Once I have placed on the board here, has been properly cleansed and then washed. These ones here, I'm going to take care of them um, very soon. A vegetable oil here. What I have here is the frying oil. Going over to the next ingredient here is a head of garlic. So all these things you're seeing here is garlic set, okay? And I'm using specifically one head of garlic. So I've taken my time to de-skin and clean everything. Scotch bonnet peppers. Specifically, I have five scotch bonnet. Guys, this is very, very spicy. Together with some ginger. I love me my spicy dishes. So if you don't like spiciness, please um, skip. Or better still, you can use pepper flakes. Or if you don't want to use pepper flakes, you can just um, use one or two pepper. Over here, I have some large ginger. Let me show you so that you can see. I've got two fresh large ginger. So use ginger depending on the quantity that you want. All these items here are all customizable. So please um, remove, add whatever you want to do. Just do it. Okay. Okay. Three no cubes precisely. Three sets of them, no cube. Okay. So use chicken cube, whatever cube of your preference. Over here I've got some onions. I have them um, two purple onions and then two white onions and these are small size them onions so please feel free to use them any one you prefer have some fresh green bell pepper this is very very important it brings that unique taste and flavor i'm using specifically um, three green bell peppers Just to boost the greenish appearance of this um, recipe you can use the yellow or the red bell pepper with the green if you want but here i'm going for the green one one uh, set of um, spring onions i have here about 12 sticks of um, green spring onion this is very very important please um, don't skip the green onions okay guys so here i've got some salt of course you want your marinade to be tasty i'm going to add some salt i have here one and a half tablespoon of salt rosemary fresh basil and parsley these three ingredients i named now is very important if you're watching me from nigeria you cannot find it for the fresh basil i suggest that if you cannot find it you can use fresh curry leaves yes fresh curry leaves can do exactly the same thing that this um, fresh basil can do I think that this one here can still be planted for those of you who are agriculturists yeah i think this one here can still be planted just um remove it from the container here and then you know plant it and you'll see some fresh basil springing up from your farms or wherever you stay gardens or stuff like that So just before I begin the blending process, I'm going to set these ones here aside. And now we are going to, you know, chop the vegetables into little sizes so that they can fit into the blender. All right, friends, so now we are ready to go over to the blending process. My hand here, I have exactly one cup of oil. This is going to help lubricate the blender at the same time aid in easier blending process. Okay, so that step is done. Now we are going to add the ingredients in the blender. What I'm going to do is to add a portion of the items in there and then I'll blend. The 
first segment um, has blended down. I'm going to add um, the other ingredients step by step. Guys, if you check at the background there, you see I've got some dry spices because I have some thyme here, two tablespoons of thyme. This is one tablespoon and another tablespoon. So I'm going to add um, the tablespoon of um, thyme inside here. I will introduce the other spices um, later. Finally, we have come to the end of today's recipe. Just take a good look at the marinade. You see how greenish and beautiful this marinade is looking here. So this is an all-purpose marinade, all weather. If you want to spice your fish, chicken, turkey, goat meat, whatever. If you want to marinate it for a long time, one hour, two hours, just because you have it um, available, you know, everything goes um, super, super fast. Okay, so I'll be showing you in future videos how I'm going to be using it. At the same time, I will always be referring to this video so that you can see how you can make an all-purpose marinade. Guys, just take a good look at that green appearance. Isn't that amazing? This is so, so beautiful. Look at that. It looks like a smoothie. Eh? But try to taste it. You're in trouble because it's super, super spicy. I'm going to now transfer it inside them, this bowl here. I have a big bowl here. I'll just pour it in there. Now you don't need to do this. This is the reason for the recipe. And so you've gotten the green marinade. You can see how colorful and greenish and beautiful it looks. You can use this on your tilapia fish or all those type of things like I said earlier on. But here I'm going to add some ingredients here. I have black and white pepper. I have turmeric, curry powder, coriander and cumin. Okay? Yeah, so use any spices available to you within the area that you live. Or use spices that um, you best appreciate. I did not add this one earlier on because if I had added it, it would have changed the color of the entire recipe. I wanted that um, green outlook, you know, for that marinade, for all those type of things. So that is why I did not add it earlier on. But now I can add it because I want to store it in my fridge. That. But the reason why I'm adding the spices now is because um, I want to have the spices here to avoid every time, every time I'll just add spices, okay? So it's still green in color. You can see that it's still green in color. Now it has turned to a kind of um, dark green, unlike before it was a um, light green. Okay, friends, so we have come to the end of today's recipe. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, kindly like, share it with your friends, loved ones, or anybody you want to share it with. Until I come your way next time, bye.